Hi, this is the day one or before video for digital animation for spring 2021. One of the first assignments that you'll have for this class is to watch the welcome videos and take a quiz on those videos. So this video I want you to watch before you do that because I go over items that are specific to this class. Um, watch this video and just simply take notes. Don't try to follow along and access Canvas or the other videos because I explain that in much better detail in the welcome videos. Do take notes. Um, this is a college class that always surprises me when classes meet in person, how many students show up without anything to write on or with, but that's important. Uh, luckily, now you can just pause and grab some paper and a pen or your phone, whatever you prefer to take notes on. So anything that's not explained thoroughly in this video will be explained in the upcoming welcome videos. Uh, don't assume that any of my quizzes will be the same as what you saw last semester or prior to that. Everything's uh, digitized now. Um, you do have to be careful when you watch the welcome videos and I give the answers to the quiz that's coming up that um, you write down the exact spelling because now everything is graded by the computer. Um, view announcements and be sure that you've completed the required tasks before starting any project in the class. You'll hear me emphasize how important announcements is. And let me just show you what I mean when I say that. Once you get into a canvas for the class, one of the very first things near the top is this button here that says announcements. And that's where you will find the bulk of what is important for this class. So you are taking an online class. Maybe it's just because of necessity, because of the uh, pandemic. But here you are. So do know that it takes an extra dose of discipline and time management to prepare for a class. I talk about the amount of time that you need to put aside for a class in typical terms, but also know that when it's online, you also have to substitute that time with time that you would be in the classroom. So you still have to make time for the homework and everything else that needs to be done for the class. As part of the welcome videos, there is a welcome video quiz, and that must be completed by January 31st, end of day. Um, and you need a grade of A or better. If you do not do that, you will be dropped from the class just like you would if you did not show up the first day of class. So it's... Uh, it's my way of taking role. We will have a Zoom meeting the very first day of class on January 25th, but that, um, you know, we just talk. I can't collect the papers from you that I would normally do uh, for role. So that's all done online right now. Uh, forces you to watch those videos and just align yourself with the expectations are for the class. Um, a change for me and for us this semester is the retirement of the Adobe Flash Player. Now, if you don't even know what that means, don't worry about it. It's nothing that you need to be concerned about now. I'll talk more about it as the semester progresses. I just thought that some people might be concerned about it. It's really nothing to be concerned about because, in short, there are still a lot of easy ways that you can share your animations with people who do not own the Creative Cloud. Um, please respect the online environment. Uh, we had a great deal of success with it last semester. I mean, I was actually blown away that some of the classes went better online than they did in person. It's, it's an interesting environment. When we meet in Zoom, people seem to be relaxed and they're, they're sharing their successes and failures from what they worked on during the week. Um, so please become part of that. Don't become the person who, well, let me just tell you some of the stories that I heard. Luckily, I didn't have to deal with too many things like this, but, you know, I, I talked to instructors that, you know, had students that pretended that their camera didn't work, so they didn't have to show their face. They were doing multiple other things when the, during Zooms, like eating, traveling, <laughs> working on other things. So please treat that 
when we meet on the computer like you're in the classroom because if you're sitting there with the bowl of soup in front of you shoveling it into your face it's distracting to the other students that can see you so again just show it the same respect that you would to a classroom uh, when we zoom there's a little button down there for chatting please like only use that if necessary um, if you start posting questions to me in the chat when you could just ask them out loud, it doesn't make for a good meeting. Um, so whenever you can ask out loud, do so. Now, if your computer is having problems, that's legitimate, right? But otherwise, we would like to see your face. We would like to feel like we're in a classroom as much as possible. So if you can do those things, it makes everything all the much better for everybody involved. Um, it's important that you know how to access comments for your assignments. And if, if you can't figure this out, um, you know, obviously you need to let me know. But let me just show you a, a quick thing or two. When you're inside of Canvas for the class, this is what it would look like when you first join. In fact, I'll turn this to student view. This is what it should look like for you. And again, the most important thing for us is announcements. However, there's a tab over here that says modules. And I do have a single module in here which is an orientation for online classes. And one of the things that I would highly suggest you spend some time with is this link here um, where it shows you how to set up Canvas so that you get notifications uh, right away. So if I post something on a, uh, a project that you turned in or an assignment, um, you will be able to, to to be notified that I have made a comment on your work. So it's important that you not only can see your grade that you received on the work, but there should be like a little speech bubble next to your grade letting you know that there has been a comment posted. That way you can take the feedback and make it that much better when you turn in you know, the next thing in, in line with that assignment that you just did. When you watch the welcome videos, you'll see me going through what looks like more like a printed version of the syllabus. So just know that now the syllabus is 100% contained just under this syllabus tab. So it's going to look a little bit different than my printed version, but the content is essentially the same. Um, just make sure that, that you read this um, as well as going through the welcome videos. Uh, everything should be relatively in the same order that it was in in the videos, so that'll help you follow along. And for you true animators out there, just know that I say um, design and designers a lot, um, and I don't want to feel like I'm alienating anyone just because I came through and learned animation as a graphic designer. Um, but when I say that, if I say that, uh, just you can substitute the word design, you know, whenever it comes up in a video with animate or animators. Um, it, there's a good, good chance that we will find mistakes as this course progresses um, or that Canvas will throw us a wrench or two. Um, just let me know right away. Uh, email me. The way to email me is explained in the welcome videos. Um, the reason that most of the videos that you will be assigned are not embedded right inside of Canvas and are actually on this external website, which I'll show you. So for example, you'll have a link that takes you right exactly to where the particular video is. Let's say, for example, it's the welcome videos. Um, but the reason I don't just put them right inside the announcement for the week is that I have a table of contents in here for your convenience and also every video starts with a mistake section so this way if I only have one place to update those mistakes and make a table of contents I can be that much more accurate for you uh, always look at the mistake section before you watch a video because it'll say something in a lot of cases very simple like this at two minutes and six seconds in I say the word teaching I meant to say taking so just real simple stuff to make the videos run smoother. And if you notice anything that you think would confuse someone in one of these videos, let me know and it will be added to the mistakes section. And the reason the table of contents is so important is when you come back to watch a video for the second time, which could be a few weeks later, 
it's nice to just be able to jump into, for example, you know, 600 and, or I mean, <laughs> six minutes and 22 seconds into the video rather than having to watch all of this before you get there. So like I said, the next thing that you do after you finish watching this video is watch those six welcome videos with something to take notes with because the answer to the quiz will be given during these videos. Um, most assignments for the week are due by 11.59 on the Sunday prior to our, our next Zoom meeting. So if I say an assignment is due on week number three, that means it's actually due at 11.59 p.m. on the Sunday before our third meeting. You can, of course, pause this and read it in more detail, but let me just show you an example inside of Canvas in Announcements. So you just click on Announcements, and you'll see all the announcements that have been available. So let's say we're talking about what's due for the second week of class. As you can see, that second week of class, that Zoom meeting, will be on February 1st, but the items will be due on 11.59 p.m. the day before, so the Sunday night before. Now, the main exception to this is when we do critiques. Now, you don't have to worry about this. There's none due for the next week or two, um, but those will be due by an hour before class starts. And the reason is because you'll be critiquing the work of other students that was not due until Sunday at 11.59. So there has to be time for you to look at their work and do a little quick write-up on it before class starts. So just telling you this in advance, so just in case you have a very busy Monday, you'll know that you'd probably have to get up like 30 minutes early on that day so that you can go in, find another student's work to critique, get the critique in, go have your busy day, make it back in time for our 2 p.m. Uh, Zoom meeting. I'm going to jump back here into Canvas and into the syllabus so that I can show you the probable projects for this class and just talk real quickly about them. So what we do is we start out with a frame-by-frame -frame project. Now, Keep in mind, the name of this class is Digital Animation. So we don't spend a whole lot of time talking about traditional animation techniques, which is fine for a lot of people. But if you're going to be an animator by profession, obviously you would want to take uh, an old school class where you draw on celluloid, for example. But this is as close as it comes to that. Um, in a digital class. So we kind of do it like the old school people did, drawing one frame at a time. And what that does is it gets you used to the software and then makes you appreciate the more advanced features. Then we do just that, move on to advanced features. We use what's called classic tweening inside of Adobe Animate. Then we move on to a mix of advanced techniques, so which used to be called the midterm, so you'll still hear me refer to it as that. Um, then everything from, well, I should, let me say it this way. The first three assignments are not overly creative. They're more about learning the software so that you can be super creative. Then the next three projects are your creative outlet. What you're doing is you're taking a three-step process towards producing a final animation for the class. And you start that by storyboarding it, just drawing little pictures of what you plan on animating. Then we do an electronic storyboard where we bring your storyboard pictures into Adobe Animate, set up the sounds that would be behind them, and let everybody look at it, get an idea of, of using their imagination a little bit of what it would be like when you actually animate it. And then that's the last thing you do is actually make that animation. And because this class is digital, your only real concern for supplies other than having a sketchbook to, to draw ideas on is having a way to back up your files. I highly recommend cloud-based backup, but if you want to use thumb drive, you can use that. And I talk more about backing up in the uh, welcome videos. Zoom invite for our first class will be located in the announcement class number one. And if you want to get started on the welcome videos before then, just go ahead and click on class number two, and you've got all the links to the videos and the quiz.